life all over the world, also on our YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am Russ Rollins, along with Angel and Carlos and Ryan Holmes, and on the line with us right now, one of the greatest comedians that uh, ever grace our show, ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Black. How you doing, Lewis? Every day gets better and better and better, doesn't it? Every day. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> You know, you think, oh, it couldn't possibly get to be really what we dreamed it to be. And then the next day, it's more of a better dream. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I've never seen a country come out of a pandemic into something that was even greater than a pandemic. I don't even know what you call it, but it's spectacular. It's a grand-demic. <laughs> Hey, Grand. hey, Lewis, I think you would be the perfect person to help us, uh, uh, I don't know, make some sense to a guy who works here with us. He's a stand-up comedian, and, and he just found out his, his girlfriend, or, or actually fiance, just got this huge raise and now makes a lot more money than him. Quadruple. And, and, he's, maybe, up, and he's upset by it. Should he, be up, it. should he be upset about this, or should he just be thrilled that she's making that money? He's... Uh... First off, you should have an IQ test <laughs> because his IQ may be below 10, okay? Only, only a jackass, okay? In a couple. It's upset that money's coming in, all right? Why doesn't he get on the phone and call the 45% of the Americans living under the poverty level and ask them what they would think about their girlfriend moving in with them? But are you serious? Ryan, would you I like to... I lived with a woman who was making more money with, than me. And did it bother me? Not in the least. Not even close. <laughs> but, Lewis, I imagine you, you made money. Like, I'm, you know, like $13 an hour radio employee, <laughs> and she's now a management level of a pharmaceutical design firm. Uh, it's, 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 it, the discrepancy's quite a bit. I might as well have no job at this point. Well, uh, I was uh, totally broke and working in theater, Okay, so that means uh, that's less than radio. <laughs> there's no there's no electrical equipment, nothing. All right, so I'm making less. And she she starred in a movie while I was doing. It, all right, damn. And did it hurt your ego so, at all? With, uh, did, uh, 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 just a little no, bit. No, who's got an ego when it comes to that stuff? You're in radio, schmuck. What'd you expect? <laughs> You think something was going to happen? Oh, look, we found radio. Let's give him another $2. <laughs> You're doing what you want to do. That's all that matters. You make a very good point, sir. <laughs> that really is the truth. I was hanging with yeah, Russ back right. in right the day, there. and I'll never forget this thing he'd say. He would never say goodbye every time he'd walk away. Hey, he'd say, Swirls, it's like see you later. 